Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the second component of our REMA models. And in particular, I'm going to talk about autoregressive models. Previously, we talked about multiple linear regression models where we were regressing a variable yt on a bunch of explanatory variables or a bunch of uh, x variables. Now we are going to extend the same concept and instead of regressing yt on uh, some of the other explanatory variables axis, we are going to regress yt on its own lag values. Now this type of model is called autoregressive model and uh, in this case this model is called ARP model because we are including p lags of uh, yt in this uh, model and uh, this p is sometimes called the order of uh, ar model so we can uh, regress yt on its uh, p lags and uh, we can call this model ar model now the question arises why are we regressing a model on its own lags why not include other explanatory variables to explain this variable yt now in many cases we may not understand these explanatory variables that is, we do not understand what is actually affecting a, a variable yt or the data of uh, these uh, x variables may not be available and these xt variables may not be directly observable. In this case, it is better to regress yt on its own lagged values to get the information about uh, the determinants of uh, yt and forecast based on uh, the lagged values. Some of the examples include inflation rate, unemployment rate, exchange rate, gold prices, interest rate, etc. Now one assumption that we are making here is that uh, whatever x variable was affecting yt in the previous period, they may keep on affecting uh, our variable of interest yt in the current period as well. So essentially this yt contains information about uh, these x uh, variables in it. Hence. Uh, we are indirectly capturing the effect of these unobservable by using uh, yt minus one variable as an explanatory variable. So here are two examples. And uh, in the first example, we are uh, using an AR1 model and trying to explain this variable yt. And essentially our goal here is to capture the patterns observed in this yt series. And here we are using uh, AR1 model of the form where our yt variable is uh, regressed using a lagged value of uh, yt minus 1. And here we are including just one lag uh, in this model. Therefore, it is called AR1 model because uh, it contains only one lag of uh, yt variable. Similarly, we can also capture the effect of uh, various lag on yt by including uh, two lags uh, of uh, yt in this model and we can get a pattern like this by including two lags. So we see that uh, the AR2 that is when we include two lags uh, in the model we are capturing uh, these types of effects in our yt series and if we include just one lag our model is uh, capturing the patterns in our yt series uh, in this form. So essentially we have to decide which of these two models is actually capturing uh, the real effect so that we can use that information to forecast. And essentially we include p lags of uh, yt to capture the effect of uh, the unobservable by using these lag variables. So essentially the idea here is to include the lagged values of uh, a variable itself as uh, explanatory variables. And uh, the key here will be to know how many lags of uh, yt we should be including uh, in our model and this will be the question that i will answer later in this chapter all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye